Yo, yo, what is going on, everybody? It is D Man coming back at it again with another YouTube video. And today we've got our Titans theme team episode number 30, I believe. So let's go ahead and hop into the lineup. You guys see the coin count in the top right, not looking too good. But the reason is, is because of this guy right here, Derek Henry. We'll go ahead and check him out. First, his debut on a theme team episode today. Uh, I have reached for it, a bulldozer, and arm bar. I left, you know, the gameplay video. If you have, if you guys haven't checked that, I'll go ahead and check it out. Uh, this dude is a, is a glitch. He's a glitch. I am still on current gen, so he's a glitch. If he's a glitch on current gen, then no telling what he is on next gen. Because I've been hearing a lot of guys say that he is overpowered in in current gen. I just couldn't imagine. Uh, how next gen is with this guy but here's the stats 99 speed on 247 pound six foot three Derek Henry that's ridiculous guys I do have power run on him um which I can probably I'll, I'll change out in a second here because we found one with the Steve Hutchins upgrade he goes from times three to times four chemistry so that means I can get power run up to uh 10 but I don't think it's gonna make a difference because I don't think you get much there because he's already got 99 brake tackle, 99 truck, 99 stiff arm. So I don't think that's going to do anything for him. I might flip, go like to zone run maybe. Uh, but as of right now, we are leaving power run on him just to get that trucking a plus one. But yeah, there is Derek Henry. Uh, he is the newly acquired guy today. Uh, also, we have Steve Hutchison on the offensive line. I do apologize for a little bit of a later theme team uh, you know, episode uh, today just because I wanted to wait for Mr. Hutchinson's price to go down. Uh, but look at this guy. 99 strength, 99 awareness, 99 pass block, 99 pass block power, uh, 95 pass block finesse, 98 run block, 97 run block power, and 97 run block finesse. This dude is an absolute monster. 74 speed and 84 acceleration is very good at your left guard spot. Um, 99 awareness is really good as well. Uh, he'll go ahead and get up to those, you know, he won't run right by the linebackers when he gets to that, you know, the second line of defense there. He, he will, the awareness is really key on your lineman. That way they, they won't just run right past, you know, a key block they need to hit. So that, that 99 awareness will help out a lot. Uh, pretty crazy here. 78 jumping, That's that jumps out at me. Uh, you know, on a lineman he has 78 jumping, which doesn't even matter, but it's kind of crazy stat right there. Yeah, pretty much all you need to know is all those stats up at the top. He's got 99 impact blocking and 98 lead blocking. So 98 uh, impact and 98 lead block, and I got the impact block up to uh, plus one there with the uh, play fake, I believe, that gets it up plus one. But all you really need to know, there's stats up at the top. Uh, I don't think there's anything else here at the bottom, though. So really, really good looking card here. Pass blocking stats are amazing. Run blocking stats are even better, but... For some reason, you know, I still have that power art, uh, power up art on him. I'm trying to figure out how I can change that, but right now, as you guys can see, the uh, arts aren't popping up here for the uh, the legend, you know, the ultimate legend card art. So I'm not sure what the deal is about that. But I'll just equip this first one, and it, it, as you guys can see, it won't even equip. So I'm not sure what the deal is there. I guess we'll let EA fix that whenever they can, because obviously they work with their own time. They don't care about us. They take their time uh, and to fix stuff, but. With that being said, guys, there's your offense. No other upgrades, I believe. I think that's the only up, only couple upgrades there. So the the really key one here is I really do want a Drew Bennett upgrade because uh, he is a route runner, and once he gets an upgrade, he'll get the uh, you know the uh, route technician uh, technician for two AP rather than Randy Moss getting it for three. So that will help out a lot. Hopefully, you know some of the guys that got ultimate legend cards aren't ultimate. You know they're not really ultimate legends, so maybe a Drew Bennett gets a gets a uh, you know ultimate legend here soon. That'd be pretty nice. Powered up to a 98, he'd probably have like 94, 95 speed ish, 93, 94, 95. I would assume, but uh, you know really good on the theme team. Whether that be like you know 98, 99 speed, so with route tech too. So that would be very nice. Very tall receiver too, um, with those kind of stats and the route tech would be nice because uh, we did see the Isaac Bruce. He went ahead and got route tech too. Uh, because or route tech for 2 AP because he's a route runner so that's the other uh, you know new ultimate legend we got we got eight others but not no need to go ahead and go through them all but the other guy we had this last Wednesday for the veterans promo we got Logan Ryan unfortunately he is a free safety so this kind of hurts us here because uh, we do need some cornerbacks even though we got the Desmond King we'll go over him in a second but 
even though we got the Desmond King, still looking to get some more upgrades at corner so I can go elsewhere with the uh, Aeneas Williams there. I don't have to use him anymore. But here is Logan Ryan. He looks really good, guys. 98 zone, 90, 95 man. Looks really good. He's a little slow there at 96 speed, plus 4 chemistry. Uh, so, you know, stock, he's 92. So, really, you can't use him anywhere else other than the theme team. But we will still take the upgrades. He's made a couple good plays for us. Uh, and with him being a free safety, that does kind of hurt us because, you know, obviously he did play cornerback last year with us, uh, and he's moved to free safety as a giant. And I wanted to see if they made a change here, and they have not. So secondary position, I thought he'd definitely get cornerback at secondary position because he played it, uh, you know, his, the past seven, eight years he's been in the league, he's played cornerback. And so I would assume they would have the secondary chemistry or secondary position on him, but they don't. So unfortunate. But 97 overall is still pretty nice on him. That's the other upgrade we had this week. So we had upgrade on Tuesday with Desmond King, upgrade on Wednesday with Logan Ryan, Thursday with Derrick Henry, Friday didn't get anything, uh, and then Saturday we got the Steve Hutchinson. So some good upgrades for the Titans here as of recent. Desmond King here, last guy we got this past week. A good looking card here, 98 speed, 99 acceleration. I was scared that they were going to absolutely kill his speed, but... Getting 93 speed, powered up to 94, definitely usable on a theme team. Uh, once we get a few other upgrades like Adore Jackson, Jason McCourty, you know, they're going to look really, really good because they already are like 87 speed on an 81 overall card powered up. So um, definitely whenever they get their next upgrade, going to have 99 speed on the theme team. Uh, going to have pretty good coverage stats as well. This Desmond King here goes ahead and gets 99 mad and 99 zone. Um but it's really he's really only usable on you know a char on on a uh, Chargers. I think it's the Chargers, right? We we got we acquired him from the Chargers, I believe. So um, yeah, so the Chargers and the Titans uh, are the two teams. He th th those are really only two that he he's gonna get because uh, or obviously that's the two. But what I'm saying here, he's really gonna be only usable on those two teams because without the plus two boost to you know the teams. He would only be sitting at 96 speed, which is really slow at this point in the game. So, you know, kind of a unique card only for, you know, Titans or Chargers theme teams because, you know, 96 versus 98 speed is a big difference. So, unique in that way because we can really, we'll, we'll probably be the only team that uses this Desmond King. Like, you won't be seeing Desmond King on a regular team because he's pretty slow. But, really good looking card here on the theme team obviously he does get those cover stats max ma uh, you know max out but the speeds a little slow if you're just running him on a non theme team uh, you know 96 change of direction is pretty insane too uh, and he's got 83 kick return I actually had him at kick return probably gonna take him out of there because you know he has fumbled a couple times for me so I'll probably go put a uh, door Jackson back there I think he's got the same speed anyway so that's really it the past couple upgrades we got Desmond King, Logan Ryan, Derek Henry, Steve Hutchinson. So it looked good the past week. Look to go ahead and see a Javon curse soon for Ultimate Legends. Same with Albert Hainsworth. Uh, a couple guys, you know, I, I did move. Okay, so I did have uh, Kevin Byard at free safety. I moved him to strong safety because he gets a secondary position there. And I can also go ahead and keep um, mid-zone KO on him because I think that's a very key ability in the game is mid-zone KO because Logan Ryan gets it for 2 AP, but I'd rather have Kevin Byard get it for 1 AP too, and Kenny Vaccaro can't get it at all. So a lot of you guys were saying that you use Kenny Vaccaro at sub linebacker since we got the upgrade with Logan Ryan. Um, I'm actually going to stay with Sam Mills because I feel like, you know, Sam Mills is a little, he's a lot faster than Kenny Vaccaro. I believe Kenny Vaccaro has like 91 speed. Sam Mills has like 96. Um, uh, around the same height too. So Sam Mills I mean, obviously, linebackers aren't that good unless you have this guy right here. Sam Mills is really good, guys. He's a little short, but with Lurker on him, it really does help him out. Rashawn Evans here does play really, really nice uh, for us because he has that, you know, that double, uh, those double abilities that really help out Enforcer and Deflator. Really, really two key abilities there for run-stopping linebackers. Uh, and then the rest of the team, yeah, just a couple more upgrades. Maybe Finnegan gets an Ultimate Legend because they've been still upgrading those, uh, um... You know, Team Diamond cards that we got, or, or, or not Team Diamond, but, you know, Team of the Week cards. Like, the core Dylan just got an upgrade in Ultimate Legends. Uh, so, maybe we see a Finnegan. He's the only, like, 90 overall, I think, that hadn't had an upgrade from the Team of the Week promo. So, he should be getting an upgrade soon. That way, we can go ahead and take out Aeneas Williams. Uh, and then, hopefully, Dora Jackson gets an upgrade. 
Uh, and then also we got Jason McCourty sitting in the binder, who's also the same overall as Adore Jackson. So once Adore gets an upgrade, once Jason McCourty gets an upgrade, we'll, and then Finnegan, we'll, we'll, we, we go from one of the worst secondary themed teams in the game to one of the best. Uh, so special teams, I do have Desmond King back here, so I'll go ahead and change that out here in a second. But there's your special teams defense one last time, and there's your offense. Still 95 overall, so maybe one more upgrade on offense. We might, uh, you know, go ahead and bump our overall up to 96 maybe. Jared Cook power-up would be nice this Wednesday. Jack Conklin power-up will be nice. Uh, hopefully we see some power-ups this week. There's been nothing said about what's coming on this this next Wednesday. Maybe, you know, if they keep the same thing going, they'll just refresh here and go flashbacks. Uh, at a 95 overall, I would believe. So, if they don't do, you know, another, uh, you know, refresh of all the Wildcard Wednesday promos, hopefully it's power ups because that's what we've we've been asking for. Kralo did mention in a stream. I'm not sure what day it was, but he said we've been hearing your 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 calls for power ups. So, hopefully they're planning to go ahead and drop some power ups in the game here soon because I would absolutely love a Jack Conklin power up. That would help us out at right tackle he go ahead and power up to 97 maybe a 99 on the theme team who knows uh but another guy jared cook he'd be a 99 tied in on the team if he got a power up that would be awesome too uh and those are the two really main guys that need power ups that i would really really love to have in the game but uh and then also aj brown i guess you could throw in there too but with that being said guys let's go ahead and let's let's hop into the game all right, guys, hopping into this one. There's his top three. Maybe a Raiders, Washington theme team, 25 out of 25 each team. There's our top three, Sam Mills, Desmond King, and Aeneas Williams. So we are in the first round of the playoffs, wild card playoffs. So hopefully we get a win and advance on to the next round. All right, starting out here on defense. Let's go ahead and see if we can get one stop here. Going to come out in the cover three. We'll use it with Sam Mills. Watch out anything for the sideline, anything underneath. We'll take that away, and we got some pressure. There we go. Got some pressure there on Rich Gannon. He's rocking with Rich Gannon, so, you know, not a bad quarterback to be rocking. It is a little late in the year. I mean, he's he's a little outdated, but um, he, he can still work with some of you guys. Uh, you know, definitely, uh, you know, he's a Washington guy, so works on that Washington theme team. He's looking right up the middle, and he actually completes it. As, I believe that was Desmond King that laid the boom on uh, – DK Metcalf and he's able to hang on there, but pretty nice little um, nice little playmaker up the uh, seam there as he's gonna run it here with Bo Jackson doesn't get much gain of three about 40 seconds in this one he's gotten the first down two yards on that first down there uh, and we're still gonna stay in this cover three um, hopefully Clowney can take away anything over there on that side. Um, so looking to take away anything over the middle right there, right there. Oh, right over Rashawn Evans' noggin. So might have to come out of this cover three. I want to stay in it. Um, we got to look to get some pressure here soon. Someone's got to make a play here on defense. Um, I'll go hard flat, and it's going to be a run, and we're going to be able to make the tackle there for a gain of two. All right, next play here on second and eight. Go ahead and go hard flat and look for the seam there. Kevin Byard's got to come and make the play a little bit faster than that. He might have gotten the first. It's third in inches. I'm going to play the run here. I'm going to play the run all the way. Logan Ryan and Kevin Byard both spied, and it's going to be a run and make the tackle, but it's after he picks up the first. Got three there, so that's unfortunate. First and ten once again. Driving down the field on us. Got to look to get one stop here in the red zone. Our defense does a little bit better in the red zone. We just got to take it. Okay, there we go. Dump off to Darren Waller. KB's there. Gain of three. We'll take that. Might have to bring the safeties down to go ahead and prevent that from happening once again. Um, oh, I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm in cover two. Had an audible there. Looking for anything underneath. Go send the pressure. Someone get there. Going to have to throw it away. And he's there. That's what he's going to do. So third and seven. Big third down here. Can we hold on and get the stop? Force, the, uh, force uh, only three points to go up on the board for him. I'm going to go ahead. Okay, he's going to call a timeout. He's going to throw a spy out there and watch out for Rich Gannon scrambling here. I'm still going to do so, but third and seven here. He's going to go ahead and look for some sort of seam beater because he knows I've been sitting in this. Uh... Great, I just messed up my adjustments. Get Clowny on a spy, and we are good to go. Hopefully someone can make a play. I'll go hard flats because uh, hopefully 
All right, let's see what Rich Gannon does. Let's see what he does here. Looking for anything on the sideline. Crossing route, and he's got it to DK Metcalf. That's tough. First and goal at the five. I'm going to play the run every single play here. Hopefully, we can just box him up, force a pass on, you know, whether that be third down or something like that. As great block shed there by Kevin Carter. All right, here we go. I'm going to do the same thing here. He's going to might look for the pass here. He's going to run it once again. And solid tackle by Rashawn Evans. Blows him up at the three. Might have been the last play of the first quarter. We'll have to see third and goal. This is a big third down here. We're going to go ahead and send the same. Let's go ahead and send another. All right, there we go. Make the tackle. All right, at the two. That was the last play of the first quarter. And we're able to make the stop. So he's already picked the next. Or he hadn't play, picked the next play. I'm not sure yet, just yet. Um, but let's see if he kicks his three. All right, guys. So he's coming out. Got to watch out for the fake here. And he's actually going to kick his three at the two-yard line. Very conservative player doing that because, you know, a lot of times you guys see people go for it from the 15, 20 yard on, you know, fourth and goal. This guy is playing it really conservative. So that's a big W for us on defense. Go ahead and get the stop. Here's Adore Jackson on the return. Going to look to get something here. Adore Jackson broke a tackle. Almost got a little loose there. Got to the 26, though. We'll take it. All right, game plan. Carried us to the playoffs this year. So. We got to ride the beast, man. We got to ride the king, King Henry in the backfield. We got to go ahead and see what we can do here on first down. Henry finds a little bit of a seam there. Gain a 4-3. Okay, we'll take it. Four yards there on that run. Let's see what we can do on, uh, on second down. This is when I wish I played next gen because he's going to get four yards every time on next gen. But see what we can do here. We're going to try trap play. I got to see if he's going to. Okay, he's going to actually blow it up there with Jamal Adams. That's tough. So the, the trap's not working. He blew that up. Third and eight. We've got to throw the ball here. He's in cover two, so let's see what we can do. All right, guys. I'm going to try a little screen play here. Let's see if he's going to go ahead and read it. Pinches the line. Jamal Adams, he sees it coming. We dump it off to Derek. Breaks the tackle. Down the sideline. Stay in bounds. I think we got it. I think we had the first if he stays in bounds. Fourth and two. If he comes out in a regular formation, I'm going to try and get this with Jared Cook fake punt. Let's see what he does. He's coming out in a regular look. I'm going to actually still run the play because I feel like we might can still get this. No, we cannot. That was terrible. I thought we'd get our blocks up front. But we, this is our special teams unit. It's not our O-line. So I should have just gone for it. I don't know what I'm thinking, man. Still a three-point ball game, though. So if our defense can make a play here, someone's got to step up and make a play. Or if, if we can just hold them to three points, it's still a six-point game. All right, here we go. First and 10 at 31. Got to look to get a stop here. Watch out for Rich Gannon. Scram. I'm going to go ahead and spy Harold Landry. And it's going to be a run up the gut. And we're going to be there with, who is that? That's Logan Ryan. Great play there by Logan Ryan making the tackle on the big guy, Bo Jackson. Second and 12. Maybe the last play before the two-minute warning. Looking to get a stop here. It's coming out of shotgun. Could be another run. It's not going to be another run. Looking across the middle. It's Bo Jackson. Possession catch. It's going to be a yard short of the first down. Let's see. Probably the last play. Of this. Yep, that's two-minute warning. Here we go, third and inches. All right, here we go. It's going to be a run up the gut, and we're going to be able to blow that up. Harold Landry and Kevin Carter come together to, come together to make the tackle. And are we going to hold them to another three points? This is a big win for the defense. Just got to step up here on offense. So he's got Tyler Bass kicking, and oh, he's trying to take some, you know, plenty of time off the clock for me. To go ahead and leave me as little as time as possible. He's going to go ahead and knock it on through there. So 6 nothing, big W for the uh, for the defense. But we got to look to get something going on offense. Since we can't get anything going on offense, might as well get some sort of big special teams play in. Holy cow, Jamal Adams. Wow. All right, guys. I'm going to try a little run here to Derrick Henry. Doesn't look like he sees it coming. And we got a big hole there. Derrick Henry reaches for the first down. I'm going to call timeout. Save us, you know, some time here. So first down for Derrick Henry. Okay, cover three. Let's see what we can do here. All right, guys. Since he came out in that cover three last play, see what he does here. It looks like he might have audible to cover two. Um, but we're looking for Moss, Janu, AJ, and then we got crossers with Derrick. Uh, and we'll take Derrick underneath. That might be incomplete. Okay, Derrick breaks the tackle. Derrick, slow spin move. I just tried to stay in bounds there, but... 
Yikes, it's gonna be second and eight. Alright guys, gotta see if we can do something here. Once again, I'm gonna do the same exact adjustment. It's gonna look for Derrick Henry underneath. Uh, Randy Moss, maybe. Randy Moss, I might have had him. But we're gonna dump it off to Derrick as he breaks another tackle and gets out of bounds once again. It's gonna be third and short. Alright, so the plan is here. I'm going to look Moss's way on this short third down. Because I think his user is going to try and bite down on this drag route by Derrick Henry. So I'm looking for Randy Moss. That's who I'm looking for here. Randy Moss. Oh, that's a terrible pass into double coverage. And it's going to be incomplete. Fourth and one. I got to go for it. All right, guys. He's definitely going to be expecting the run here. So I'm going to look for something deep. I'm going to look for Andre on the sideline. Hopefully we might can hit him. Um, and he's wide open on the sideline. Possession catch. Get out of bounds. We're not going to be able to get out of bounds, but we got the first. So we'll call timeout, save our time. First and 10 at the 47. If we get three points here, that would be clutch. I'd love a touchdown, though. That was a big fourth down conversion there. We're going to go ahead and motion over A.J. Brown. See if we can look for him. If he is in zone, this might get open. Going to streak Janu. Moss or A.J. I'm looking for. Um, and then Janu, if it is a cover two, maybe he gets open. Um, once again, I'm going to just roll out. We're going to throw it away. I, I can't force anything stupid here. 25 seconds left, second and 10. So I noticed that Andre got open there in that last play. So I'm going to look for AJ, either of the corner routes. Hopefully they get open here. That's who I'm going to look for as neither of them get open. See if I can just throw it away. Okay, we'll throw it away there. Third and 10 now. Yikes. So he's been kind of cover two. Got to look to hit something on the sideline. Alright guys, since nothing's been working, I think if we can get some blocks up front, we might have a lot of yards here with Derrick Henry. Still got a timeout to work with, so if we get our blocks up front, maybe, as man, who is that up front there? DJ Reader, he, he calls the timeout. It's fourth and nine, I think I've got to just punt this ball away, because if I don't get this, he's in a good position to go ahead and get three points himself. Alright guys, I just said screw it, we're not punting, we're going for it, it's playoff, so... You gotta look to hit something here, whether that be Moss if it's a or it doesn't work anymore. But we're looking for John if he's been in cover two or Andre. Let's look to see what we got, and I'm gonna throw it right at his user, and we actually get the catch. I'm gonna talk, uh, call timeout. Are we in field goal range yet? Okay, 51 yarder. I, I don't think Greg can hit a 51 yarder, so I'm gonna look for one more play. Hopefully, and get out of bounds. All right, I'm gonna look for a little shot play here. Moss gets open, or I'm going to look for Andre. Let's see what we got on the sideline. No, right there. We hit, actually hit Moss, but he's going to be at the six. That's tough. Definitely not going to have time to get our field goal unit out there, and this time ticks out. Good pass there, but, you know, unable to score any points there at the end of half. That's tough. All right, guys. We are returning this one here since we got the ball back at the beginning of the game. And again, Adore gets rocked. Alright guys, going to start out with a little first down run play here to Derrick Henry. Doesn't look like he's, he knows what's coming here, so if Derrick can... Damn. Alright guys, going to run it again. Hopefully Derrick can get something here on this play. Blocks up front were pretty nice, but we just got to hit that hole. Lawrence Taylor just outmanned Taylor Lewan there. Um, it's third and eight. Just going to look for a screen play here. He got nothing going here on offense. This dude... Really, really, really good Madden player. Can't get anything going here on offense. I don't really have a scheme out of this playbook, so don't really know. He sees the screen coming. Can he get out there? And Derrick Henry breaks the tackle, but he's breaking it the wrong way, so we lose four yards on that play. We just got to hope for a defensive play here at this point, man. 6 nothing. low-scoring game, defensive game. Yeah, just got to look for a uh, – you got you to hope for a defensive play here. Going to get Brett Kern out here. Hopefully he can pin him deep here with this punt. As Kern launches this one into the night sky, and he's going to pin him at, at around the 41-yard line. So that's where he's going to start on this drive. It's first and 10. Hopefully we can just make a play. All right, guys, really do not know what – I don't know what to do. He's going to come out here and run the ball a lot. I, I expect a lot of runs out of this. Uh, since he's up six, I, I do expect him to run the ball a lot. Second and seven here. I'm going to come back in the eye for him. I'm going to go ahead and uh, send the run D. Hopefully he doesn't pass it here. With my luck, he probably is going to pass it on this play. Let's see what he does. And he's going to run it right up the gut. As we are there with Kevin Byard, he's going to drop him about an inch short of the first. Yep, it's going to be third and inches. 
He's going to run it one more time. Um, if he's smart here, uh, he would throw the ball because we are sending heavy run D. Heavy run D. Let's see what he does here. Out of under center. He's going to run it one more time, and we're there to meet him, but he's got the first before we can get him on the ground. First and ten. This is going to start. This time is just ticking away here. Again, four-minute quarters and not a lot of time, but <laughs> we've got to make a play, guys. Let's go. Got to make a play. It's tough if he's just going to run the ball every single down. Um, he's going to run it here again. And we are there to make the tackle. So probably I'm going to expect the pass this next play. Um, I'm going to expect the pass. Hopefully we can just get a stop. Yep, it's going to be a pass. He's going to have it wide open on the sideline over there. He's going to throw it away, actually. He had the guy on the right side of the field pretty open, I think. Rich Cannon throws away. Third and nine. That was a big stop we needed. This is a bigger stop on third and nine. 39 seconds. Most more than likely going to punt if we can get a stop here. Going to spy Kevin Carter. Hopefully Harold Landry can get uh, you know through the defense there. Look for the sideline. He's got it. Oh, we were just a hair late there. Desmond King has the has the mid zone uh, KO, so he uh just just a little late there. I mean, it's probably gonna be a run here. I'm expecting the run. I'm not bringing the run D though, since he's in a shotgun, and it is gonna be a run. And we're gonna get in the backfield pretty easily there. Gain of one. That's gonna be the last play of the third quarter. All right, here we go. Gonna expect the run here, but all right, there we go. Albert Hainsworth getting into the backfield there helps us out a little bit. It's Bo Jackson that goes nowhere. Third and ten. This is a play we need. We desperately need it. Desperately need this. Jadavion Clowney has got... I'm going to actually leave out the cover three. Hopefully Desmond King is a little bit better in a uh, deep third than a deep half there and respects that corner a little bit better, a crosser a little bit better. As uh, so We're going to come out here in third and ten. Let's see what he comes out in again. He's going to come out and gun. Um, I'm going to play uh, you know, purple, uh, purple flats. I'm going to go ahead and spy Clowney. There's no way he runs his ball, so I'm not expecting the run. And he's going to run the ball. And we're going to make the tackle. Solid tackle. I'm not going to call a timeout. I'm going to keep my three timeouts in case we need them later on. He's going to play it really conservative. Don't blame him because we suck on offense. So um, taking his three, he's going to make it a two-possession game. If he can go ahead and get this one on through, and he does with Tyler Bass, and it's a 9 nothing ball game. All right, big play here. Looking for Derek out the backfield or Jonu if he gets open. We'll, we'll dump it to Derek. Hopefully he can make a man miss, and he cannot. So gain of one, second and 14. I don't know what we can do. We'll try slants, I guess. I have no scheme, guys. I, I don't have anything. When nothing's going, I just don't know what to do. Looking for Moss on the sideline. Let's see what he goes with here. He's going to go with not AJ, so we're going to throw it to AJ. Pick up the first. Let's go no huddle. Pick up the pace a little bit. Slants might be the key. We're going to go ahead and do the same exact thing. Block Janu. Block Janu. There we go. Looking for Moss or Derek. Derek's going to be open out the backfield. Puts a little bit of air on that ball, but I don't know why Derek didn't hold on. That would have been a pretty been nice little play there for five yards. All right, guys. I'm going to try bench here. Looking for Moss on the sidelines. Backing up those safeties. Uh, and it's going to be actually no one's going to come open. Going to get outside the pocket there. Throw it to Moss. Good play there by Tannehill. That's going to be the two-minute warning. So we still have a shot at this. I might think about taking my three and save some time. Hopefully get the ball back. Uh, that might be the game plan. Take three here. Hopefully get a stop and have a chance to, you know, make a 9-3 ball game. And then, you know, get the ball back. Hopefully maybe take the lead, I guess. That's our game plan at this point. I'm not sure what defense he's going to take away. These short routes and, you know... So we're going to have nobody open, and we're going to have to throw it away with Tannehill. I don't know what we're supposed to do against this defense. He's absolutely clamping up. Cover two. Sidelines covered. You know, flats are covered. I don't know what to do. Look for the middle of the field. That's what he's using, so I really don't know what to do. All right, guys, we have two routes on the field here. Looking for the sideline to uh, AJ. Looking for Moss. Whoever he goes with, um, and he's going to go there, so I'm – and I get sacked. I have no time in the pocket. Golly, third and 19. All right, looking for the sideline to Andre. Looking to go deep to AJ, but probably not going to happen here. Looking for maybe AJ as we get hit as we throw on and just overthrown the pick. So we're in a danger zone here. we got to go for it. So I guess we'll just go with verticals. Hopefully someone gets open. 
this point in the game, I don't know what to do because this dude's been absolutely clamping up here. It is the playoff, so if we're done, if we lose this, we're out. So, got to look for something. So, we're looking, and the pressure gets to us, and we go down. Loss of downs. Still have a shot with all three timeouts left, but it's a long shot. I'll tell you that much, though. So probably need to look to force some fumbles or, or, or something has to happen here. Um, so we come off the, the edge there. Desmond King gets the tackle. Got to call timeout. Don't know why it's not letting me. A minute nine now. Guys, I have no idea what to do. Second and 11, we force the loss of one. If he throws it one time, the game's going to be over because I'm an, I'm an absolutely running. I, I'm taking away the run, and I'm very vulnerable right now. So there we go. Bo Jackson down at the 32. Going to take another timeout. It's 104 left now. Third and nine. Ugh, this is tough. I'm going to actually play the pass this time just in case he throws this ball, and he is going to throw the ball. I'm going to look for that. I'm going to look for that. He's got the sideline wide open. That's going to be it for the game. So, I absolutely suck at Madden. Uh, and you guys saw in this one. So, yeah, it got out of bounds, so it does stop the clock. Um, like I said, I was playing the run 1,000% there. And one of my D linemen just absolutely stopped. And he hits Randy Moss for a touchdown. So, that could have been that could have been a uh, pick six if, if, if someone made a play on the ball. But... If you guys watch the replay, someone up front, I believe it was Albert Haynes, which just stood there. Go back, watch the middle of the field, right when the ball snapped. I kind of blitzed with Sam Mills, but Albert Haynes just stands there and does nothing. So frustrating. Uh, and he'll take us three. Um, we'll come out cover two. Just, I don't know why, but this game is over. 15 nothing. He's going to run the trick play. He's going to try and throw it, and it's going to be swatted away by Kevin Byer. Good for him. You know, he deserves to go ahead and do some trick plays because he absolutely whooped my tail. I don't know about this, though, man. You don't have to do this to me. You don't have to go onside kick here. Tyler Bass. Go ahead and try the onside kick as we pick it up with Kenny Vaccaro. Good field positioning. Uh, but we obviously have to play for the touchdown, the onside kick. With our offense not doing one darn thing this game, I don't know what we're supposed to do. So, yeah, 52 seconds left. It's pretty... Um, Pretty much over at this point so i'm gonna see if i can motion in derrick henry get a little bit more protection as i, ca I can't actually get him in here so let's look for derrick henry on the sideline there we go derrick get some blocking okay gets out of bounds there 37. all right guys one guy i'm looking for and it's randy moss i'm looking to go randy moss's way want to bring in johnny a little bit more protection here yeah this is pretty much game over at this point but we're gonna give moss one shot here at the end zone maybe he gets open secure catch in the back of the end zone and that was almost an absolute dot by Tannehill but unfortunately his his defensive back made a play on the ball and our defensive backs can't make a play on the ball kind of frustrating but 42 seconds left here that was a pretty nice looking shot there but we're gonna look for two streaks on the right side hopefully someone gets open it's Johnny's right there we're gonna make a little out route get out of bounds there we go got out of bounds so another about you know 10 yards there again so I mean, I don't really feel like it's just defense. N yeah, offense never got going really. Stop the run. Once you stop the run, it's really anything goes at that point. So, can we get it inside? All right, secure catch. Ah, oh, we got to go. I uh, call timeout. All right, timeout because we actually do have to play for the uh, onside kick. So the timeout's not going to hurt us that much. All right, so we're going to go inside zone. Hopefully, we can just punch it in here on this first play. As the inside stuff works, Derrick Henry to the one. That's going to be a lot of time ticking off. And we're going to try again. Derrick Henry inside zone. And we get in this time. 16 seconds. Still a shot. we got to get the onside kick, though. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and kick my kick my uh, extra point here and go for two next time just to make, it, make sure we have a chance. It's Greg Joseph. Uh, hopefully we made that. And we just sneak it in that left upright. So we still have a chance here. We gotta get the onside kick though. Um, what a comeback it would be if we go ahead and knock it or not knock it in, but get this onside kick. And I don't know why it didn't come out in the onside recovery. We do have a shot here. Brett Kern, give us a good one. And he's actually gonna give me a shot. He actually is gonna give me a shot. Okay, respect to this guy. Got it at the 48. Let's see what we can do. All right, since that last post shot by. Randy Moss looked pretty promising. I'm going to try it again. Bring in John to a little bit more protection. If we get sacked, game is over. 
If we don't, we're still alive. Looking for Randy Moss as I'm going to try on AJ Brown on the sideline. Secure catch, maybe. Swatted away, nine seconds. Still have a shot left. But it's, it's a long shot. He's in cover two, man. I might just have to throw it up to Randy and hope that he goes up and makes a play. Um, that's our last shot here. Hopefully, that's really our only shot at this point. So, I think I'm just going to sit everyone verticals and hopefully maybe the ball tips someone's way and we have a shot at it. That's what I'm going to do here. Um, I'm actually going to bring in, John, bring in Janu here. A little more protection. Can we get the snap off here? See if we can. We can. It's the last play of the ball game. Put some air under it. A.J. Brown. Oh, my God. I thought A.J. had a step. I really did thought A.J. had a step. But that safety over the top was able to get there on time. Can we get some sort of hit stick? No, we cannot. That's going to do it for the game. And that's going to do it for our season. 15-7. Did you? I, I, you know, Andre had a step there at the beginning. Um, A.J. had a step, too. But, you know... Ended up being a pick, so it is what it is. We lose this one. That's a tough way to lose, but, hey, he gave us a shot there. Respect to him. I did have a couple delay of games. He declined both of them, so great Madden player. Awesome dude, 70-67. He was pretty awesome because, you know, good guy, dude. Really good at Madden, and he's not one of those, you know, you know I'm not going to say a word, but um, good dude because he, you know, declined the penalties and stuff too, so obviously number one thing is he's good at Madden, and then, you know, Definitely a, a good sportsmanship type of dude. So we'll go ahead and lose this one. That's going to do it for our season. But hopefully you guys did enjoy. Uh, we will have some more gameplays here in the future. Maybe do a, a, a you know, a, um, maybe we do a Steve Hutchinson gameplay net this coming up. Maybe tomorrow or something like that. I, as of now, I have no idea. I don't know if y'all like linemen gameplay videos. But we'll try like a little bit of a, yeah, if we could have scored there at the end of half, that would actually help a little bit too. Um, but we ended up not, so that's kind of tough. But if you guys want to line it up, uh, you know, not a lineman gameplay, I'll think about doing that um, with Steve Hutchinson, putting on some abilities on him, seeing how OP he gets up front. But, yeah, just never got the offense going. 19 rushing yards. If you can hold me to that every every single game, um, you're, you're probably going to win because that's really my number one thing. I'm going to try and get the run game going with King Henry. If it's not going, then nothing else will start going. So, yeah, with that being said, guys, season is over unfortunately but episode 30 in the books can y'all believe we've done 30 episodes so far uh we're gonna do the same thing we did last video with the derrick henry if you guys stuck around i know it was pretty boring this gameplay was pretty boring i do apologize but if you guys stuck around and you're still watching right now go ahead and comment down below what emoji should we do this time let's comment down below um let's see what we should do here let's uh let's do let's do the um Let's do, I don't know what we should do. Last time, what do we do? The, the, the swords. I got to do something different every time because people are going to be doing the same thing. So let's do, let's do the shade. So black sunglasses, uh, just black sunglasses, not with the emoji, but just straight up the black sunglasses. If y'all comment that down below. Actually, I'm, 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 if I can remember, if I can remember, I'm going to start doing uh, at the end of my videos, I'm going to tell you guys what to comment down below. And then, who you know, I'll pick a random person who comments that, and I'll shout them out in the next video. If I can remember to do that, I'll definitely try to get in the habit of doing that because I, I think that would be a pretty cool uh, way of interacting with you guys. So, yeah, if you guys are still watching right now, you guys obviously enjoyed the video. So, comment down below the black sunglasses. They're, they're literally just straight-up sunglasses. They're black. Um, and, yeah, just comment that down below, uh, and I'll definitely... Uh, hopefully, if I can remember next video, I'll try and remember to shout someone out that go ahead, went ahead and did that. Uh, uh, so, yeah, with that being said, that is going to do it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. And until next time, I'll see y'all.